one one note for my users whenever you're using a hammer drill or whenever you're really even using a hammer you're going to want to have some sort of safety glasses for eye protection it's really really important because how could you watch youtube videos if you got marble chips stuck in your corona i mean cornea What's up, YouTube? So we're putting up safety uh, grab bars today, and I didn't dribble. This is, um, the shower head was dripping in the shower. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So a couple of things you want to think of is, uh, like, placement. Placement is real important. In this particular bathroom, we put this one here because the john is located over here, and, uh, we figure that the person that's going to use it is going to use this to assist in lowering themselves. I will show you lowering themselves onto the john. And also for getting up from the commode. So, uh, placement. So you want to think about it first and use your head. You can hold it up on the wall. You could mark it with uh, some masking tape uh, temporarily until you figure out exactly where you're going to put it. Be careful with masking tape on the wallpaper. You kind of rip the paper when you pull it up. And I, I just spit information out. You guys got to pay attention. You could play the video back, okay? Because I, I just like let you have it, you know, full speed. So here's this shower. I'm going to get you a little better shot of the shower there. Maybe in the mirror you can get a better shot. So we uh, decided to place one here to help get in and out. And the older people sometimes have trouble stepping up over things. So we have one here. And then as they uh, come into the shower, and as they come into the shower... And then this one they can hold on to while they're actually bathing. Here's a shower head and the controls. And it's actually a bench. Um, I'm going to clean that up. That's just dust from drilling the holes. Uh, okay, so we got one here. And this one could also double for, like, um, putting stuff, you know. You can, like, put a, a face cloth over here or something like that. So they don't have to always be a towel bar. It could just be a thing in your shower. A uh, grab bar, towel bar, whatever. So, again, placement. And these are... Uh, you know, it's basically left up to me from my experience of putting these up for other people. But uh, think about it first. Uh, so placement. And then uh, tools you will need for, uh, for drilling through granite, for uh, putting mollies in sheetrock and stuff like that. Uh, masking tape to mark off your, uh, your spots. You're going to want a uh, power drill. It's going to make life real easy because you got to put long screws in for these things. Uh, a level would come in handy. A mallet and uh, an awl to center punch. Uh, you're, you put the punch and then tap with the mallet. It makes a little notch in the granite so that when you go with the next thing you're going to need is a hammer drill with a nice sharp drill bit. When you go with the hammer drill after you... Uh, you dink it with the thing, then the drill won't wander. It'll just stay in the little dink and make a nice straight hole. You may also want like a stud finder, although you can always use your knuckles to find the stud. Listen for the sound. Right there is a stud. Hollow, hollow, hollow. It's a different sound. Okay. Hollow, 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 hollow. Different sound. Right here's a stud. Right here's a stud, and there's always going to be a stud at the edge. Sometimes they double them up at the edge, so edge you don't really need. So, you know, you might want a stud finder. You're also going to need a mess of mollies. Uh, sometimes the towel bars come, uh, the grab bars come with their own mollies, but I always like using these kind of mollies anyway. So you want a mess of mollies, and, uh, and that's about it for the supplies. Of course, you want some grab bars and stuff. So placement in this bathroom... In this shower here, I'll show you from a wide shot. Okay, so we got we got this shower here. We're gonna put one over here that will double as a uh, as a towel bar, but also as a grab bar. Okay, so that's in the far wall that uh, the older person can use while they're actually showering. And then we have this small one that we're going to put here to help get in and out. Okay, so that's on the inside of where the glass door closes. In case it's on the inside of where the glass door closes. The other option would have been here, but we feel this one is better. And uh, we could have put this bar like up and down, but we feel across is better because also then it could double as a, uh, uh, to keep a face cloth or something like that. Then, in the john here, there's a John here, and, uh, okay, so then in the John here, 
we're thinking to put the smaller grab bar. Uh, we gotta find the stud, but somewhere around here, because the person is right-handed, so if they are right-handed and they're sitting on the john, okay, or maybe even like right here, okay, maybe even right there, because it's like guaranteed there's a stud back there because of the door frame and stuff. We're here. There's a stud here. Okay. Well, either one of those, okay? And uh, in here, we're going to drill into the... Uh, this looks like uh, granite. This looks like granite. We're going to drill into the granite. I'll show you that. So basically, uh, placement, you know, you want to think about your placement a little bit. You don't want to just jump in there and just stick them up. So use your head a little bit, think about it, maybe ask, uh, talk to somebody, ask a little advice or something like that. So um, you definitely want to, uh, you want to think about placement a little bit, you know. And um, besides, uh, besides placement, uh, then it's just uh, actually drilling, you know, a marking, level, mark, uh, doink it with the center punch and then use your hammer drill and the granite and the sheetrock, uh, you know, you, you just want to put the screws through into the stud, basically, you know, you don't want to just hang them with, uh, in the middle of sheetrock, with, with just mollies in the sheetrock, they're going to pull out, you know, there's a lot of weight, if someone's like falling down, you know, they're like falling off balance, there's a lot, you're going to pull it right out, you want it in a stud. The tiles will support that, like falling down, you know, the tiles will support that. So, uh, you don't have to, you can use mollies in tile, any kind of tile, whether it's granite, marble, uh, ceramic tile, but sheetrock, something like this, you're going to want to go into the studs, but something like, uh, like this, granite and stuff, you could just go anywhere you want, feel free, uh, just use mollies. All right, guys, so basically what I did is I held it in place, like where we want it on the wall with the level, okay, and I bubble leveled it, and then I marked with pencil with the, the screw holes, they give you a lot of screw holes, but pick the ones you want, three on each end, and that's basically how I marked it. Now I'm gonna come with a, a, some kind of awl or a center punch, and, uh, and a mallet or a hammer, and just uh, gently, I just wanna make a little nick in the tile, so that the drill bit doesn't wander when we put it on that flat, hard granite surface. It would just wander around if not for the little nick you're going to put in it. Okay, you go to your pencil marks. Center punch mallet, okay? You go to your pencil marks. Perfect. Okay, you see them? Just putting a little nick. One, two, three. Okay? In the low angle. One, two, three. That's what you're looking to do. Remember, safety glasses. It's really important. We've center punched. We've made our little nick so the drill bit doesn't wander. You gotta plug it in. Like I told you guys before, on my YouTube channel, I don't edit out the screw-ups. I bring you right through the whole process. This is not one of those overly produced handyman shows where uh, everything works out perfect in the end. This is real life, real day-to-day -day adventures of a handyman. So uh, you learn all the tricks. And a, a neat little trick if you want is you could just put a little simple knot in here. And then it would never unplug, even no matter how hard you pulled it. There's a handyman trick, tip for you, from the pros. Now, I'm not going as fast as the drill is capable of going. But I'm noticing that it's wandering a little bit, which tells me this bit is getting worn out. I don't want wandering. I want a nice straight hole. So I'm going to change bits, and I'm going to drill 
The other holes, just as you see here. Ow, here we go. Okay, couple of things that I want to spit out at you. And remember, I told you, you can watch the videos again. You know, I'm always coming out with the information and stuff. All right, so we know the safety glasses are really important whenever you're using like a power tool or even like a hammer and a chisel or something like that. Now I've noticed here that uh, these drill bits, that these uh, cheap uh, silver drill bits, they last in about six holes and they start wandering all over the place and they're burnt out. So uh, I got plenty of drill bits, that's not the issue. These carbide ones are a lot better. The, the black uh, steel ones, they last a lot longer, but I don't want to waste them on this granite. So I'm burning out the cheap ones and I'll throw them out. Okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about now, what's on the other side of the wall, okay? Hey, while we're in here, okay, so the holes are drilled, all right? Uh, what's on the other side of the wall? If someone had asked me to put a towel bar right around here, I would be thinking, like there's water pipes back there and it might be a bad idea to go drilling through this um, without being like really, really super careful because uh, you don't want to nick a pipe behind the wall. Wiring, heating vents, um, radiated pipes, stuff like that. I mean, you got to think about like what's upstairs, what's downstairs, if it's a service wall, in other words, a wall where there's like electric and plumbing and stuff. So, uh, you know, just use your heads. You don't want to drill through and then just keep pushing the drill and, and powering through anything you feel back there. Once you're through the tile, you know, stop. And then, so that's that. And, um, all right, let's put the mollies in. And, uh, and then we're ready to stick these bars up and move on to the next one. So I'm using these quarter-inch uh, plastic jobbies. I, I kind of like them um, rather than, uh, than some other kind of mollies that, uh, that like these ones. I, I, I don't really like these, but, you know, you could use them. But as long as they're the right size, these are quarter-inch mollies. Place the mollies in the holes, and now we got to, like, just tap. You don't want to, like, smash them, but just tap it the wall, okay? Uh, there we go. Just, you could use a hammer. I'm uh, using a mallet, but there's three. And then we're going to come over here because I, just for argument's sake, I did put a couple of those other different models in there just to show you guys. Real quick, I'm going to show you how to deal with a with a screwed up molly. So um, here we got uh, th this molly here went crooked on us. It got bent. Okay, so it's not in that far. I'm just going to take it out, and we're going to put another molly in its place, and, uh, and that's how we're going to deal with that one. Again, light taps until it's flush. Now this molly over here is in a little further where I can't really pull it out, but I can actually just like nip the end off and just, you know, go ahead and use that as it is. So that's a couple of little uh, handyman tips there on how to deal with a problem mollies that you may run across. <clears throat> But this one's just going in sheetrock into the stud behind it. So it doesn't need mollies, um, but it does need uh, center punch just to help get your screw started. So you want center punch. And these are quite uh, these are quite long screws that we're putting through. They're like inch and three quarter. And we're putting through into the stud. So this is beeswax. You could use candle wax. You could use crayons. You could use soap. Okay, and it just helps the screw going a lot, lot easier. And just right through, right through the sheetrock and into the stud. It's no big deal. Put 
And again, a little beeswax, a little candle wax, a little salt. And uh, these long screws go in like nobody's business. Okie dokie, be careful masking tape on wallpaper, it could peel it off. The ideas just come out of my head and I just give them to you guys. So, uh, important thing, placement. Okay, we got a John over here. So this is gonna be to help get up and down off the John. We're looking for a stud. This is a lot of sheetrock here. We got a stud here, which would be too far away. This is like a caddy corner here for the shower, and I figured that would really get in the way, sticking out here, because in the toilet is a thin spot, so I didn't want to put a handle here. So I figured this was the best spot. Just think ahead and um, figure everything out before you start drilling, and uh, just think ahead, guys, and figure stuff out before you start drilling and making holes, and you're not going to have any trouble. Hey guys, so I'm using my power driver with the extra long bit on it, um, just because I find it a little easier. And I'm not sure how the camera angle is, but I put this in place and I just got two screws that I put in finger tight. I didn't, I didn't go all the way tight on that yet, and I'm not going to go all the way tight on this one yet. Until I get a couple more screws in there. Just so I know everything lines up. Now I'm going to go all the way home with these screws. Bring it home. Alright, come with me YouTube. Come with me YouTube. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, it's up, it's solid as a rock, okay? Now these are like covers here at the end, you just kind of put them, put them on and put them in place. That's the covers. I'm gonna snap the cover, okay? Snap the cover and snap the cover. Okay. Yeah, this one's gonna need two hands, okay? And then we're going to put the other screws in this one, clean up the dust from the drilling, straighten up our tools. And uh, basically that's a bunch of information from my head to my YouTube users on how to put in your safety bars for your elderly people uh, that you care about or uh, a money making job or whatever, um, safety bars to help them out so they don't fall and break bones because the problem with older people when they fall it's like not just broken bones it's like compound fractures you know where the bone comes through the skin and that's a big healing process and you're laid up for months and months and we definitely don't want to see that happening if uh if we can help it and if putting up like safety bars is going to help that let's put them up you know guys thanks for watching if i helped you out with anything Give a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. We love the comments because also your comments may help other users who are watching the videos and may have questions and scroll down to your comments and it might have been answered uh, by me or another uh, user. So be sure to comment, thumbs up. If you like the channel, while you're here now, just press the sub button. It's no big deal. You could sub to anybody you want, but this is all handyman stuff. So sub to the channel and uh, in the future, you you'll have no trouble finding me.